Hey guys, how's it going? Zevenx here, back with another tutorial. This time we're going to be looking at sampling uh, based in Ableton, uh, but it can apply in pretty much any of your DAWs. Now, what we're going to be getting as a result of all this is taking samples from some of your favorite songs. In this case, we're taking the kick drum from this Arston track, um, Hussman Remix, and this is going to be our end result. A nice clean kick, uh, a nice clean kick that you can use uh, for your own productions, and I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, so we took it from this sample in the track, um, and I'll play this for you in just a sec. So that's a pretty great sounding kick drum. Um, so I figured, you know, why not take it and use it for myself um, so that I get a nice clean kick drum for my own productions. And the way to do this is very simple, actually. Um, you want to find a section in the song where you can get that kick drum. And I found this part was pretty, pretty decent. I got the nice transient in the beginning over here. And uh, it's got the nice full kick, so make sure that it's uh, all the way. And if you have to come in here and uh, adjust this starting point a little bit, be sure to do that. Okay, so now once you have that, you're going to want to select the clip here and consolidate it. Command J. And then what you're going to want to do is uh, make an audio track and just copy that sample there. So you're going to have this. Same thing. Now what you're going to want to do is get some sort of equalizer where you can isolate the frequencies individually, different band ranges. So in this case, I'm going to be using Ozone's Isotope uh, Imager. And so let's go ahead and do that. And the basic concept here is that we're going to be isolating this sample per frequency range. Um, so you're going to want to duplicate this track four times. And now we have a total of four versions of the same sample. Now, what you're going to want to do is go to the top one, isolate just the bass frequencies. And then in the second one, isolate just the low mid frequencies. And you're just going to move down the line and do the same for all of them. And move along high end, high mid, and then high. So we can close that. Once you've done that, you just want to select all of your channels that you uh, copied of that sample, and then freeze it, and then flatten. And what you're going to end up with here is basically um, different samples of the different ranges. And this is what each one sounds like. So here we have the low end. Here we have some the low mid, high mid, and the high. Basically, um, at this point, it's all about cutting and fading to make sure that we get the sample down to the meat of what we actually want. So what we can do right away is pretty much cut away all these extra artifacts that we don't really need. Um, and the reason you're going to want to get rid of these top ones is because, for the most part, none of that's really going to contribute to the kick. All of this stuff is more of the higher end transient click stuff uh, to the kick that gives it that punch. So you can get away with that. And then basically this half of the kick, there's nothing really going on. So let's get rid of that. Now let's get fades going on all of them. So go over here to your side and fade. Fade, fades. Okay, you're just gonna want to smooth these, smooth these down uh, so that it's nice and clean. So let's do each one uh, singular. Sounds clean. Uh, let's listen to this. We can smooth it out. There's some kind of white noise artifacts that we don't need. Get some nice punch there. Again, some hissing we don't really need. That's clean. And that high end that we don't really need, but let's keep it and just kind of lower it. Cool. So then let's start adding each one layer by layer, and you'll start hearing it come together as a single sample. When you're at that point, you basically have your sample there. Now, what you're going to want to do to consolidate this all into one single sample of a kick drum. Grab all those channels, select them all, free or er, sorry, group them, and just minimize that. Um, I already did that here before, that's why I have it there. But so let's just get rid of that. And then what you're gonna want to do is create another track 
and where it says external in, uh, just set it to to group, which is all of those. Arm your track to record and go ahead and record it. And there you have it. There is your single kick drum sample. Pretty simple, pretty clean. And at that point, you're able to use this for your own productions. Once you have this and you want to export it, go over here, select that range, export audio video. And over here on rendered track, set it to 7 audio, export, and you'll be good to go. Just save it wherever you please. And that's how you get that sample. Now you can get creative with this and apply it to all sorts of different parts of the song. It doesn't have to be the drums particularly. It could be maybe a synth sound or a vocal sample, things like that. Um, you know, everything has its own space in the spectrum. So just cut away where you think it belongs um, and what it doesn't need. And you should have something pretty clean. Again, you can do more processing on this to get a fuller sound. Um, but that's kind of the gist of it. And you'll get some high quality samples this way. So hope this helped. And if you guys have any questions about this video or any future videos that you guys would like to see, please be sure to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get to doing that as soon as possible. Thanks guys.